My name is Leon Lee Wandowski, and I was born in 1901. In 1903, my parents Frank and Josephine decided our family would leave our homeland of Poland for a new life. We came to America through Ellis Island on a ship called the SS Grosser Kerfust. We traveled to South America and returned to America through Ellis Island in 1913 on a ship called the Van Dyke. My name is Liz, and Leon Lewandowski was my great-grandfather. This summer of 2015, we went to New York. When we were on Ellis Island, I thought about my great-grandfather and his family. I thought about what the ship was like. I wondered if I was walking on the same path they had walked on. I wondered if they had signed the papers. And I wondered how well they did on tests that they had to do. I learned a lot about what they had to go through to get inside America. First, they traveled across the ocean from Germany. This trip was called a passage. I think they called it that because it took so long. They were on that boat up to one month. When they got to Ellis Island, the first thing they had to do was leave their belongings in the baggage room. Then they had to go upstairs and wait their turn in the registry room, which was also called the Great Hall. It got very loud in this room. Between three and 5,000 people came to Ellis Island every day in 1903. Holy cow, can you believe that number? The next step was medical and legal inspections. People had to show they were healthy and had their affairs in order. If they were sick, the doctors marked them with chalk. After the inspections, the immigrants arrived at the top of another staircase called the Stairs of Separation. This staircase had three aisles. Immigrants who were being detained were brought down in the center aisle. People who were taking the ferry to Manhattan walked down the right side of the staircase. And the people that were going to train station walked down the left side. The long and difficult trip had a happy ending for my great-grandfather and his family. They lived the rest of their lives in America, and their families, like me, continued to live there every day. Did you know that 40% of Americans can trace their ancestry through Alice Island?